Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to a new video with me, Fuzzball40. As always, if you're new around here, subscribe down below and make sure your notifications are turned on so you never miss an upload. Normally in these videos, on all my videos, we talk about foot trading, but instead we're going to talk about the team that I'm now chief executive of, and that is Ripley Village FC. This is the first video basically documenting our journey, um, hopefully what is going to be a massively successful period for the club. Um, and hopefully a game-changing period for the club. So for those that don't know, I am the new chief executive over at Ripley Village FC. We play in the Surrey County Premier League. Um, it's the highest level of amateur towards the lowest end of semi-pro non-league football. And the aim is to basically get that club climbing up the uh, the pyramid as much as we possibly can. Um, for those who have watched the videos before or watched the streams, um, you'll know a little bit about it and what we've done. But I've basically, I've talked to a lot of clubs with regards to investing and, and buying clubs and doing whatever it was. And the moment I spoke to Ripley, um, it was straight away the club that I wanted to be involved in. There are amazing people that care deeply about that club. Peter, Tim, Neil, even down to Dawn, who does the food and, and, the, uh, and the kits. It's a volunteer run. It doesn't, isn't run for profit or anything like that. It's run for people that love football and it is the most amazing club full of amazing people, like I say. And so, yeah, I got involved. I'm now chief exec. And basically, our aim is to make the club successful and it's to push the club on now and uh at a basic level um it's worth me saying that we are we don't own our own ground we pay out of a cricket club um at the moment who own all the facilities our aim in the long term is to have our own ground um and kick on in that sense the aim is to make ourselves sustainable by building an online presence that you guys can get involved in um and that's why i'm not going to go into detail about foot trading today if you guys are looking to help out as some of you have already done down below is the link my streamlabs link you can donate to the club and it will basically every single penny that is raised via my streams um via my videos and via that link will go to the club obviously i'm putting my own money into it as well there's no doubt about that i'm putting quite a bit of my own money in to help the club be successful it needs it it needs um it needs investment and it needs new ideas but it is an amazing amazing club i, I love everything about it um but but today is the first real big video of it and essentially the reserves play today. We've got the reserves playing. The first team aren't playing and we're in a bit, I don't say, but we're in a bit shit down the bottom of the first team. But we will get out of that, I believe. I believe the players and the management, they've all, they're all on board and we're going to get out of that. The reserves are bottom of their league with loads of games in hand. So today is a massive game. We're playing Cobham under 23s. Um, they're top of the league. We beat them at their ground. I'm um, hoping to do the double over them. It's a massive, massive game. They're a very good team. But we have faith in our players and faith in our ability. Things are turning around and it starts today with this reserve game. So let's head off. I'm going to show you guys essentially the way there, the journey, everything. This is going to be your first taste of Ripley Village FC. And it's only going to get better as time goes on. And you guys will be able to get involved more and hopefully support us along the way on our journey. So yeah, I'll see you guys at Ripley. I'll be right back. Right, and so welcome to Ripley. This is the lovely little village. I fell in love with it years ago. Um, I got married here in the tower, but it's on the left-hand side in a second. Um, but it's a lovely village full of lovely people, um, and everyone knows everyone, basically. Um, it's sort of like your Rimmerdale sort of situation. Um, but all in all, it's, yeah, it's a place for the people that, that love their club, um, a club that I now love, um, and I can't wait to, to do what we're gonna do with it. So. To the right hand side, the club's sort of behind there, the green, you've got to sort of loop around to get to it, but the club is there basically. Um, this is where I got married, the Talbot. Got married in that lovely building there. Um, but yeah, we loop around or whatever, we're going to aim to get in the club and yeah, get speaking to everyone, sort some stuff out. I'll see you soon. All right, so this is Ripley for you. So this is our reserve team, although I'm going to be blunt, a lot of these are our first team, realistically. Um, they're getting warmed up for the game, but I will just show you around a little bit. You can see all these guys here. Um, that is the opposition today. I'm running over there. I'll just try and zoom in on them a little bit. That is Cobham under 23s, although a lot of them don't look under 23, I'm not going to lie. I think they're under 23 in name only. And this is the carpet of a pitch that we play on. Um, yeah, basically, I'll show you inside a bit, but we work, we play out of a cricket club. And so we've been given on the outside of it this part of the, uh, 
the ground to play on. So long term, we want to get our own ground, but this is currently what we're working with. It is a carpet, it's a lovely pitch. We've got a great ground, it does a brilliant, brilliant job. But this is it. This is this is the new camp for us, the green. Um, but yeah, basically, the long term aim, aspiration, we're going to hopefully get our own ground and do what we can. But right now, we've got to make do with what we can, and this is what we've got. Um, it's a really special club. It's an amazing club. And bit by bit by bit, we will make a difference, slowly but surely. So Cobham get us underway here in the yellow, Ripley in the red, and first pass is played out, they play the ball out wide. Pitch is usually pretty good, although first couple of minutes you can see the bobbles really catches out number 10 here as the ball goes out for a throw in. So after a very scrappy first five minutes, the ball gets played out wide again. A very unorthodox spin sees the ball roll through to number three. Gets very good cross into the back post and the wind held it up, which is a massive factor today. Both players tussling for the ball and it breaks to the Cobham player who just strikes it wide. Tries to get a corner even though he just wants to feel better about his bad shot, but we'll keep him keep him feeling good. Cobham are coming forward again with a well-placed through ball, which is deflected over the top. Isaac's very quick to read that and comes off his line to head it out for a throw-in. Runs back before the throw-in is taken quickly and short. Falls to the Cobham player, who does a quick body feint, gets away from his man and dinks it into the back post. A brilliant ball, however, slightly over here, and Ripley are able to bring it clear. After a few more scrappy minutes of football, ball falls out for Cobham again. Cobham player takes it down, very composed, plays it out wide. Their player slips on the ball but still puts it through our lad's legs. Fortunately for us, he can't do anything with the shot and sends it well over the bar. So after being penned in for the first few minutes, Jasper gets unlucky with an optimistic attempt. Falls to him again out wide, plays it, gets blocked. Both of them tussling for the ball. Alex managed to set it back. Uh, first time high and looped, cross goes into the box. Both players go for it. Bit of a shove but nothing major in that can't see because Daryl can't keep his camera on the pitch so let's both guess what's going on <laughs> their player does a very aggressive jump for the ball but does win it ball is put back into the box again and rolls through everyone and nearly a very good goal good play by number seven who loses his man then very heavy touch luckily Adam's there to clear up clears it well over the top for Jasper to run onto and sends the keeper into yeah. some sort of karate move not too sure what he was doing but I mean, it worked, so fair play to him. Throw-in's taken and set back. Ball into the box, however, that goes over everyone and straight into the keeper's arms. Cobham with a very good opportunity to put the ball into the box. A free kick 30 yards out. However, he chooses to play it short to number nine. Ball Bob was just in front of him and he puts it over the bar. That's definitely a less off for us, though. Can't really see what's going on, but we have the ball on the far side. A well-weighted cross into the middle. Nils there with a perfect finish and puts it into the top corner and makes it 1-0 Ripley. Great that we finally take one of our chances and definitely deserve to be 1-0 up. Since going up, Cobham have really got back into the game, winning the ball here in the midfield. Well battled and played the ball out wide. Number 10 picks it up. Ripley very well back and organised. Everyone getting their body in the way. Gets cut back here to number 8 on the edge of the area. Lines himself a shot up and Toby does really well to get himself in the way. Couple more passes out wide. Bit of a bobble and the ball gets kicked out for a goal kick. Next phase, again, they're putting the pressure on and Sean does really well to clear the ball. Isaac there, ready in case. Ball goes up to halfway line, couple of winners by Ripley, again showing our dominance in the air at this half, and that brings up the halfway mark, Ripley 1, Cobham 0. Second half well underway now, 2 nil up due to a good goal from Adam, Jasper cuts back inside, Rolls the ball into the back post and the defensive mix-up causes the ball to fall to Tucson who pokes it, gets a second attempt at it and rolls it across goal for Liam to smash home from close range and that makes it 3-0 to Ripley. So the ball's back down with the Cobham defence, bobbly back pass and the keeper makes a hash of that. Ball falls to our lad who plays it to the edge of the area. Intercepted, defence do well to recover. Ball falls about 30 yards out, which leads to our player being fouled. And we now have a free kick from 30 yards out and a good opportunity to 
increase the lead. So the free kick gets taken here, gets hit into the wall, but he gets a second bite at it. Defence steps up, gets dinked over the top into Jasper's path over the keepers just there to win it first. Number eight puts it down for him to play out. Jasper here again with some very good pressing, wins the ball back or deflects it out for a throw in. Another chance to reset. The ball gets won well in midfield and headed down towards Neil who has a shot and I'm not going to spend any more time talking about that than we need to because I'm sure he, he won't appreciate me mentioning that. After a defensive mix-up, he'll kick backwards and the ball goes out for what is quite clearly a goal kick. However, the ref does proceed to give us a corner. Um, yeah, not too sure what happened there. And the defender has said something. He's now seeing the yellow card, which in this league is a sim bin. And they are down to 10 men for 10 minutes. So eventually the corner comes in. Gets sent into the six yard box, very long, headed down. Unfortunately, Toby is the only one that could end up in the net and not the ball, and the score stays 3 0. Some more very good pressing up front here as we nearly win the ball back. Scuffed pass out wide, and we have the ball. Another chance to put the ball into the box. Gets played back into midfield and sent back out wide again. Some really nice play from Ripley here. Ball goes over the top into the box. And there for Liam to head home and make it 4-0 to Ripley. So yeah, we can see the replay now. Very good weighted ball over the top and Liam's there at the back post. Wins the header. Not too sure why the keeper's come for that and doesn't jump for the ball. But decides he wants to jump and punch the crossbar after when maybe he should have jumped and punched the ball a bit earlier. Colburn playing out from the back here. Eight doing really well to win the ball or keep the ball and play it out wide again. Driving forward now. Played out wide one more time. Good chance to get the ball into the box and he chooses to. Well cleared by Ripley. I think that was Sean doing well there. Number four has a brilliant bit of skill to flick it over his man. Puts it out to the right wing. Luke does well to intercept and win us a throw in in the end. So the ball's with Cobbins. Number three here has plenty of time to choose a pass. Luckily deflects for a brilliant last ditch tackle. Unfortunately he's left the lad in some serious pain so hopefully he gets well soon. Yeah, we can see it again. That's an excellent tackle, wins the ball cleanly. However, the lad has gone over on his shoulder and you can see straight away he's in some discomfort from it. Cobham is starting to get himself back into the game now. Eight does really well to spin away from his man. Drives forward, plays a great through ball. Luke's tracking back and as unfortunately, doesn't look like it on the first view, but Luke has admitted he has caught the man and it is a penalty. Even on the replay, it doesn't particularly look like he gets the, he gets the ball first rather than the man, but no, he does seem to think he has caught the man so penalty is the correct decision 17 steps up puts it into the top corner Isaac goes the right way but absolutely nothing he can do about that it's a shame to lose the clean sheet in that manner but you can't no one's saving that a couple of minutes later Cobham do have the ball in there it's been ruled out for either offside or a push as we can see here there's definitely a push as our defender goes up for the header flicks it through to their attacker who does poke home from close range good finish again but you can see most likely offside and it's definitely a foul. So we've reached the 90 minute mark. Corner's about to come in. Doesn't even get to the box. Goes out for a goal kick. But that is full time. Ripley 4, Cobham 1. All right. So post-match, 4-1 win. I'm here with George, reserve team manager. How do you think that went? Excellent. Absolutely excellent. We, uh, we set up the way we thought we could go at Cobham today. And... Um, the boys done excellent, everything we asked of them. We set up as a 4-4-2, pressed high, started high, wanted the boys to press from the back, uh, from the front, stop the goalkeeper playing out, which they all done, and, well, we, we must have done something right, we've come a 4-1 minute. 4-1 minute, so exactly, it's a it. double over them as well, in the league yeah, leaders, sorry. Yeah, done a double over them, we beat them 2-1 over at their place, that's kind of how we sussed them out, how, they, how we knew they were gonna play, and, that's how the reason we set up the way we set up today, but absolutely buzzing with the result and it's excellent. Fully deserved as well. Fully yeah. deserved. What do you think about the penalty? What the penalty can mm. oh, conceded? Yeah, yeah. Uh, a bit soft, but bit it soft. is what it is. Good on there. Minutes, we get the clean our, sheet. We get our clean sheet, which is fair enough. What pint do you like? Have you got Foster's? Is that what you're drinking? Oh, that's a Foster's top. Things you love to see. Yeah, Foster's top. Absolutely. Things you love to see. Yeah. You had some of the new lads down today as well. A few new players. How do yes, you think they did? The goalkeeper was absolutely excellent. Isaac, his kicking, his communication from the back was excellent. Luke, he's a left back. 
Again, done everything we asked of him. Perfect. And I believe that's your brother. Yeah, sure. He's done all right. Yeah. <laughs> he did all right. <laughs> Basic. Nah, nah, Basic. You can, you can tell that. They're meshed in well. They're meshed in well. So we've got quite a few games in hand. Any plans for where you think we want to be going between well, and season? Well, actually, with that result, we've come off the bottom of the table. We have four games in hand with all the teams above. So we're looking to win those next four games, which then take us to mid-table. And then hopefully get to the end of the season, finish strongly, then start next season even stronger. We've got big plans for next season and, and we want to sort of mesh the reserves and first team. So obviously you're going to be key to that and it's been good, but well done today. I think Thank we're fully deserved and uh, yeah, we'll see you next match. Awesome. Thank you. All right, guys, so an absolutely superb 4-1 win for our reserves. Um, more than deserved. They were absolutely fantastic. I do want to shout out Jasper. Um, his pressing from the front was absolutely fantastic and it really turned the game in our favour. Um, they weren't able to pay their passing game out from the back and they really were forced to go long and the defence dealt with that all day long it was fantastic defensively brilliant we rode out the early sort of uh, pressure that the Cobham put onto us um, and there were sort of two new sort of players going into that defence as well obviously Luke making his debut Sean made his debut for the first last week but uh, played for reserves this week to um, get some match fitness Isaac making his debut in goal um, but really brilliant tactics from George he got it spot on um, and really we deserve to win that game it could have been more it really could have been more Jasper on another day could have had a hat-trick um, but he was brilliant. He, he really led from the front. Jappy, brilliant again. So much experience. He's got an unbelievable left foot on him as well. Um, so for us, an absolutely fantastic win. Um, and initially, there was a bit of a downer because the first team obviously are battling against relegation. Um, and we thought that Horsley and Farley had both won to drop us into the bottom um, of the of the table, basically. To, to the bottom two, anyway. Um, but we found out afterwards that Farley lost in a mad game. They lost 9-5 to Battersea Ironside, which actually keeps us out of the relegation zone. And one of their games in hand is now gone. So the first team table looks like this. It will show you that basically. I believe we're, uh, we're two points clear of Farley now, but they've got a game in hand on us. Um, and the reserves, we're off the bottom, which is absolutely massive. Loads of games in hand. Um, but I cannot stress this enough. It's an amazing club. I do want to talk about one thing. In the post-match interview, we're interviewing George. And George has got a pint in his hand and he went to put it down. I said to him, don't do that. Because at the end of that game, we were in the bar, basically. Everyone finished that match, went up to the bar. Obviously, I don't drink. I have my alcohol-free beer instead. Um, and everyone just knows everyone. Everyone talks about the game, has a laugh, gets on. And it's what football is about at this level. And ideally, this journey is you guys seeing football in its rawest form. Everyone knows everyone. Everyone wants everyone to succeed. Everyone's pulling in the same direction. It's an amazing club. But um, yeah, I said to him, don't do that. Enjoy your pint. You've earned it. And we'll just talk about the football. And um, genuinely lovely guy as well. Really lovely guy. First time I've met him properly. Um... Like I say, you got it spot on. But a brilliant win for the reserves. Next week, we're back with the first. Got a massive game against AFC Royal Holloway. Really need to get a win in that. Seven games left of the season. Got to win as many as possible to give ourselves the best chance of staying up. We want to try and put it back into our own hands again and keep the pressure on the teams around us. But that'll be the end of the video. If you're new around here, make sure you subscribe down below. Make sure your notifications are turned on so you never miss an upload. If you want your name in the video, the donation link is down below. You can help support the club. It's an absolutely amazing thing that people are already doing. Massively appreciated. But for now, we're out. Peace out. We'll speak to you soon.